What do you do with four gig cards, be it AMD, be it Nvidia, after Ethereum and Ethereum Classic brief four gig epoch? Your DAG file gets, or the epoch gets to a level to where it's at, four gig goes away. So what do we do? Some of that away here. So you could do your four gig GPUs for either to a brokerage, broker services, which is like nice hash. You can go to other coin like Ravencoin for NVIDIA. Actually, NVIDIA or AMD, it doesn't matter because uh, ProgPow is relative uh, output for both to their the, the type of class of GPU. So another coin, general compute service, which would be like render token or sold. Or you can sell them. And the rates will be various depending what they are. But, I mean, these are really the three kind of paths. Other coins could be speculative, which would be like Ubik, eGem. We'll, we'll list a few others. Speculative would be, this is, Raven have, probably has one of the strongest networks for the stuff after. You know, got Vertcoin, Grin, because it does graphs per second, that sort of thing. Brokerage is NiceHash. So NiceHash allows you to let the market decide. So if you sell your GPU hash power to, to nice hash, nice hash has a buyer and they link up the sellers. Buyers pay in BTC for a certain amount of hash power and they predicate where it goes, decides which token. So what this is considered for you is a black box, meaning you are just pointing your rig there and they're going to redirect it. Seamless for you. So that's why sometimes your rig is bouncing around and different um, at different rates and and or different like you'll get a different rate card of like how much you're earning per hour or per day and then it'll switch because now it's mining something else so it's just redirecting the hash power to where it needs to go so you're the seller of the rigs and you just leave them online and you're paid in btc they're doing because the currency that's being mined a nice hash is going to the you know the different coins are going to the buyer and they're paying for it in btc so if they rent your hash power and they're trying to mine with like etc or they're trying to mine with uh vert coin or whatever else nice hash is allowing them or any other brokerage service they're not mining rig rentals is another one uh, that was out there so that's what your four gig cards are doing so it doesn't matter they'll find things for your your cards to do now it's not going to have the same rate of return as the eight gig cards or the six gig cards or the 12 gig cards or the 24 gig cards, depending on whatever GPU you have, because they're not gonna have, be able to participate. They're limit, it's gonna be limited in amount of different coins that are, are, are mined. Um, and NiceHash handles a whole bunch of different algorithms because they don't look at it as a coin. Any brokerage service just makes sure that they're, the, the different algorithms can be mined. It doesn't matter what the pool is because on the on the buyer side you're setting up where you want it to be pointed if it's a personal pool whatever configuration that is and whatever type of algorithm that is if nice hash supports it they're just pointing it so they don't care on a pool or that so there's the brokerage side other coins you control so then you would point it to a new currency that you want to then get um with those pieces there general computes pretty new and i haven't done the research that i really wanted to i was gonna i had an opportunity to be an early tester um with uh render and i just never took that opportunity it was super busy with being able and the amount of time and uh, stuff that i was gonna have to commit to make that a thing um just i couldn't make that work um so it sucks because i had an opportunity to kind of just help shake out the way render would work um from a mining standpoint but i think they're still moving on there i mean obviously they don't need me to do that it was more about just a another contributor to helping um shake out any kind of issues i would find um, but that's a thing um and this also is like golem on the eth network so the golem team has made some stuff so there there's and you'll earn golem tokens on the ethereum network the bottom line there's more coming with this anyways any kind of render stuff gets a much more advantage if it has a full bus though so like the one x uh, risers on the gpus do not give it a lot of input and output and if you're doing a render job, typically like on an HPC, like a high performance computing um, farm, if it's a cloud-based system, there's two kind of main components with HPC. The 
CPU um, rendering stuff, and it's like its own, its entire OS, and the entire job gets sent to the the entire stack. So you're processing the entire compute of that in one stack. Then you have GPU uh, related farms. The hard, the, the you know, the main component when it comes to like doing rendering for GPUs has to do with like having a full data center that would do that. So you would have like the full PCI bus structure and you know, I have eight GPUs and a job would come down to that and then run on that. They would have exclusive access to this whole stack for a certain period of time and run that. The hard part with this to make this run and work like in a mining rig is your, your bus throughput. So you have your IO and you have, you have the type of job that's coming down is going to have a lot of a lot of data with that so where like mining doesn't have a ton of data mining is a series of hashes and a calculation step and there's a limited amount of throughput on the network side right so the network is super linear a low amount we're on like if general compute services wanted to send an entire data center type of job and then they rent your mining rig because it does have a lot of compute, com, you know, like on uh, a 1080 Ti rig, has a ton of CUDA cores and can do a lot of processing. It could be 38 to 40 percent of a V100 Tesla setup, right? So if you have an eight card Tesla V100 rig, if you had a whole bunch of 1080 Ti's, you're at a pretty good amount of compute power by comparison, right? But it's a matter of getting that job distributed, who's able to pick up that job, that whole thing. I could go through an entire episode and explain the, the, where this space is at right now. Um, but anyways, there is some opportunity with Golem and Render to where they're giving you just a single file set on like uh, a 3D, you know, render this 3D scene. And I'm gonna give you, you know, eight files that make up that scene. And a lot of this is going to be uh, generated. So it's just, it's going to be um, position. It's going to be uh, the 3D space and the types of textures, that kind of stuff. And then it's, you're just paying for that one file to get rendered or maybe a series of files that makes a movie. And with that, you're going to be paid in render tokens or golem tokens. There is a thing here, but it's like one of those things that you would only want to dedicate one rig to until you try to figure it out or even just a few GPUs. The testing that I've done on this side has been mostly in my desktop computer with like a Threadripper and like a 2080 Ti just to see how it works.